There is now more trouble in paradise in AEW, and who would guess it involves CM Punk? If I told you there is CM Punk drama right now, I would expect you to say something like, which one? <laughs> On the latest episode of AEW Collision, CM Punk caught himself saying this off the record because it's, you know, after the show. There's no cameras rolling. Obviously, no one's going to be able to hear this. Except for the people who you know, which is 100% of the audience, has video cameras on their cell phones that can record it, capture it, and upload it to the internet. So what do you know? People ended up hearing about it, and this is what he had to say. So CM Punk, being aware that AEW is in the Carolinas, or maybe he saw a sign, I'm not too sure. Basically, for no reason whatsoever, just decided to take shots at Hangman Adam Page. And I say for no reason at all because no one provoked this. Hangman Page didn't make any comments about CM Punk that I know of lately. So CM Punk just decided to start talking shit about Hangman Page again. And stuff like that is just so aggravating to see because it's like, bro, why are you out here starting drama unprovoked for no reason? I know some of you about to say, oh, but what about what Hangman Page said about CM Punk last year in May? You know the promo where Hangman Page talked about saving AEW from CM Punk? Which led to this segment on television, which was almost one year ago to the day. Where CM Punk buried Hangman Page on television knowing Hangman Page wasn't there to defend himself. You can already say CM Punk got his lick back at this segment one year ago. Last August, he got his lick back already. Which led to this segment, where he again called out Hangman Page, calling him an empty-headed dumb fuck. And again, Hangman was not there. Then he attempted to tear into Hangman Page some more in an ESPN interview that happened months ago. That was a lighter version, but he still was talking about Hangman Page again who didn't defend himself. Yet here he is a fourth time now talking about Hangman Page. Firstly, this is a whole lot of talking you're doing behind somebody's back. I understand it's in a public setting, but it seems like every single time, Heyman Page is nowhere to be seen when you're saying this stuff. Like, is there gonna be a face-to-face -face confrontation at some point? Cause I'm just saying, Heyman Page, if he pulls up on CM Punk at some point, I wouldn't be surprised. Cause this is a whole lot of, whole lot of stuff going on that Heyman Page is not responding to because he shouldn't be responding to any of it anyway because this is very, very picky stuff. Which gets into my second point. Why is CM Punk so obsessed with Heyman Page? Like, I understand he felt disrespected by Heyman Page after that segment, but it was one segment, bro. One segment. Did that really bug you that much that you feel the need to constantly bring this man up every chance you get? Like, how are you letting this man emotionally get you up to 100 every single time? And listen, Heyman Page on Instagram already said he gonna let God handle that shit, so good on him. But it's like, at some point, if he gets sick of that shit, and he rolls up, and he just knocks the shit out of CM Punk, I'm gonna be like, well, uh, talk shit get here. I don't know what you expect. Mind y'all, CM Punk is my all-time favorite wrestler, bro, but oh my God, is it tough being a CM Punk fan these days. There's also reports that CM Punk is getting people backstage kicked out of the locker room or basically booted from TV tapings of AEW Collision. Because AEW Collision was practically made for CM Punk to keep him separate from the people on the roster who do not want to work with him. And he's clearly taken advantage of this by telling people, you're not allowed to show up on the show when I'm here. One of those people being Ryan Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler's brother. According to PW Tour, it's CM Punk confronted Ryan Nemeth backstage. The story was told that CM Punk cornered Nemeth, got inches from his face, and angrily and aggressively asked if they had a problem or if they needed to settle things outside. This is because Ryan Nemeth alluded to CM Punk being soft on Twitter. And CM Punk goes up to his face and starts confronting him and wanting to fight him, basically. How after this whole conundrum that happened, are you still 
threatening to fight people. I know he didn't directly threat to fight, but like saying you want to take this outside, that basically all should be a threat to fight somebody. How are you still doing that after this? I've accepted that's just who CM Punk is. This isn't CM Punk's fault. This is, this is Tony Khan's fault. He's letting this happen. CM Punk was making the AEW environment so toxic that Tony Khan basically went and made a separate AEW entity in AEW Collision specifically for CM Punk. Now, not entirely for CM Punk. Obviously, you know, he had to deal with TNT and, you know, expanding out AEW. But more or less, he did it to keep CM Punk separate from all these other people so that way more drama doesn't start. But here we are, not even 10 episodes into AEW Collision, and you making more drama on this show too! Bro, I love CM Punk to death, that's my all-time favorite, but I'm not gonna lie, if I was the boss, I would've fired you. You would not have a job at this company. I don't care how popular you are, I don't care how many merchandise, how much merchandise you sell, I don't care how many ratings you pull in. It's a toxic work environment because of you, you're making a work environment toxic! AEW as a product as a whole doesn't need CM Punk, and if you say that they do, you're being a slave to numbers, bro. Do you have no trust in the rest of your roster to get over and carry the company that you rely on somebody who is practically ruining a company from the inside out? Because that's basically what it looks like. Tony Khan allows this to happen, so I have zero, zero sympathy for him. Until he does something, it's going to keep happening. There's one thing I will say is that CM Punk keeps wrestling interesting at all times. For the wrong reasons, absolutely, but it makes good content for me and all these other wrestling content creators. So thank you, CM Punk, for giving me content for today. And probably next week when more news and drama interrupts. What do you guys think about this whole CM Punk drama combo down below? Let me know. Let's get a discussion started.